members, we must also bear the responsibility of socializing our farmers to the realities of today's world. That it may not be feasible always that a farmer produces with the expectation that you will sell your produce to government. And we must be able to produce with the expectation that you release that product to the uh, consumers and the market and allow the uh, market forces of demand and supply to determine the prices of commodities. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, what government should do, and I think uh, the CS has alluded to that, is to ensure that we are able to allow farmers to produce uh, cheaper by making available cheaper inputs and extension services that we make sure that our, not just our maize farmers, even our livestock farmers, and Honorable Kamket says, are able to access uh, cheaper pasture, uh, also as the Honorable Shiani was saying, uh, so that farmers produce cheaper and allow the forces of demand and supply then to determine the cost of our produce. Otherwise, Honorable Speaker, if there are any follow-up questions, I think uh, the Chair, uh, Agriculture, will be dealing with many of these issues uh, as an ongoing matter. But I really want to encourage our, 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 ourselves as leaders to speak to our farmers, to socialize them to even the diversification of food crops. You do not have to necessarily grow uh, maize. You can do other crops. You do not have to grow rice where uh, those who are just doing rice, you can diversify to fish uh, or other things. Uh, that that uh, Even we socialize our own communities in terms of what foods to consume. Uh, because maize being our staple food and rice and wheat, uh, Honorable Speaker, if we all rely on that food crop, then we make the demand very high. And therefore, that's why even farmers end up suffering because you are not able to meet the demand that is there, or the, rather the supply is, is, uh, is restricted and uh, prices then get out of control. With that, Honorable Speaker, I thank members for the comments. Order number five, and I'll give the chair budget. Chair budget. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, for that indulgence. As is the calendar of this House, Mr. Speaker, we are a bit busy on several issues affecting the population of Kenya, and that is why we could not make it at the appropriate time. Because, Mr. Speaker, the Budget and Appropriations Committee was meeting by that time to consider several issues. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Speaker, I beg to lay the following paper on the table of the House today, Tuesday, November 29th, 2022, the report of the Budget and Appropriations Committee on its consideration of the county government's additional allocations, number two, bill, Senate bills number four of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Hold on, honorable members, I have a further communication to make on the resumption of vetting of nominees for appointment as principal secretaries. All members, you recall that on 15 November 2022, the Employment and Labor Relations Court in, in Constitution Petition Number E186 of 2022 